Hello everyone, this is Reverend Kyle, and I am sitting here with my DK2. Woohoo! Alright. And uh, so I've been watching the Oculus uh, subreddit and uh, been chatting with some people, and it just seems like everybody is having a heck of a time getting everything working. Uh, the few demos that are DK2 compatible are just not functioning the way we want them to. So what I'm going to try to do here is show you my own personal setup and how I've been playing these games and being relatively successful. Uh, so what you see here on my desktop currently is I have uh, everything running specifically the way Oculus wants it to be running. So all of the services are installed uh, and I actually have the uh, configuration utility running and uh, as you can see it finds the uh, the actual camera and the DK2 and everything is as it should be. I've got my setup here, I've got eye relief and which lenses I'm using and it knows how tall I am and all that good stuff. So if I were to show the demo scene, uh, it should pop over, and here let me pull this over here, uh, it should show me then the demo scene on the DK2, so uh, the little blue light is on indicating that it's on, and the camera light is on, uh, everything is plugged in as it should be. So this is the standard configuration the way Oculus wants it set up. So if I click demo scene, let me see if I can get a capture of what shows up. So, looks like everything is as it should be. Let me go ahead and start it up here. All right, and I do have positional tracking. Is this recording okay? Yeah, good. All right, so I'm sitting at the desk, and I have the, the cable. Actually, I'm starting to get all wrapped up in cables. That's fine. All right, so positional tracking seems to be working relatively well woohoo look at that yeah awesome okay so uh, I do have the clipping if, if I go out of range it does lose it a bit but not much it's good I'm gonna turn the camera bounds on and see if I can determine there's our little red line so it looks like if I were to go way over here Let's see if I stand up a bit. Yeah, I lose it a little bit there. Come back down. Okay. But all in all, I've got it relatively far enough away from me where I actually do uh, get a decent level of positional tracking. I'm actually happy with this setup that I have currently. Uh, it seems to have been working relatively well in most of the games that I've tried. So that's it. That's the That's the you know, the, the demo scene. So let's take a look at something else and, and I'll show you what I've experienced. Okay, so that, that was the uh, that was the demo scene that comes with the Oculus configuration utility. Now, if we go in and look at uh, Rift display mode right now, I do have it set to extended desktop to the HMD. Uh, I have found that that seems to be the uh, good to go setting. So I've just kind of left it at that right now uh, at this point. Uh, let me close this. Uh, another game that seems to be functioning relatively decently right out of the bat is the Ocean Rift. And so uh, they actually provided an Ocean Rift uh, direct to Rift executable. And you'll see a lot of the Unity games. Uh, well, I say a lot. Some of the Unity games <laughs> have actually provided this uh, executable because Unity creates it with the new SDK. So I'm going to double click that. Okay, and so you can see that uh, that game is functioning. All right, so let's try to get another game running that uh, everybody knows and loves very much, and that's Techno Lust. Now, right now, if you try to run Techno Lust by itself, uh, you can't because it ends up on your primary monitor. And so you have two options. You can either uh, switch your Rift over to be your primary display, which I don't really want to do because it's a pain, uh, or you can use a handy little tip that I have come up with, uh, which is to actually uh, have uh, Belago's uh, 
service manager running uh, and, and, and actually stop the services. So uh, if you haven't seen this yet, Belago put this out on the Oculus subreddit. It is the Oculus service manager. It allows you to start and stop the Rift services. And so I have taken that and I have put it on uh, my desktop with all my other important stuff and then uh, hit stop service. So this is already running. Uh, and just to kind of prove to you, uh, the Oculus service is no longer down here that configuration utility and actually I'll just show you real quick if I were to run the oculus uh, service it actually says that there's like no devices attached and um, it's all it's like ah you know nothing's working and it's terrible but I can assure you that this works so I'm just going to minimize that real quick and bring up TechnoLust. So uh, like I said right now uh, if I were to just run this uh, executable uh, it loads up on your primary monitor and it works fine you know, except that it's not on the Rift. So we need it to get on the Rift. So what I've done is a handy little thing called a batch file. Uh, you could also do a Windows shortcut, people have pointed out to me, but I'm old school, I like batch files. So I just made a text file uh, called it technolus.bat. And if you look in here, it has a very, very simple little basic addition to the executable. So you put the executable name in here, uh, right here, and uh, then you put this little dash adapter space one. Now, what does that mean? Uh, well, <laughs> it's kind of funny how Unity works. Uh, Unity counts your primary display as adapter zero. Uh, and then adapter one would be monitor two, monitor three would be adapter two, and so on and so forth. So right now I have one monitor, and then I have this as a secondary monitor. So that's why I have it going to adapter one. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so what this does then is it forces Unity to ins to run the game on adapter one, which is the monitor or the uh, Rift. So let's try that and see what happens. Looks like I get the usual thing here. And I will hit play. Hardline connection terminated. You received cool. a new private message before connection was lost. All right, so it looks like everything appears to be running. I'm getting kind of crappy frame rate right now because of the fact I'm running uh, Open Broadcaster to record it, but I've got some solutions to that. So uh, that's something that uh, I just wanted to show you that, yes, it is indeed working, and that's all well and good. Now, obviously, uh, you're not all going to be running Open Broadcaster, so... So that's it. TechnoLust will run very easily if you do these settings. All right. So yes, TechnoLust does run. You just have to make a little batch file and turn the services off. And then when you're all done, uh, you can just go back into uh, Belago's little utility here and uh, just hit start service. Close this window and you're back up and running. And I can show you that by running the Oculus configuration utility tool. And ta-da, camera and sensors are all back up and running, and everything's ready to go. So any game uh, that you have struggled with getting it onto the Rift, is, uh, it is necessary for you to actually go and uh, make a batch file or a Windows shortcut. That is my solution to fixing this problem. Now, uh, I've seen some other things out there changing the Rift to be your primary and whatnot. And that's fine, you can do that too, but I'm just showing you what I have been doing. The other thing is, uh, some people have noticed that uh, some games are running better with DirectX, and uh, I actually want to show you what you can do there as well. Uh, there is a, a trigger that you can use, uh, and I actually was playing around with it here. So there's a, a Force D3D11. That's another thing that you can put into your batch file to force the game to run uh, with DirectX 11. Now, it's something I was playing around with in Ocean Rift. I, I don't recommend you do it with Ocean Rift. I recommend you do the Direct to Rift. Uh, but it was something I was playing around with. And to be honest with you, I've seen some games work much, much better with that, and other games didn't accept it. And it's just, it has to do with what the developer has done. So take that as another example of something that you can do to see what works and what doesn't. Uh, there actually is something else I want to show you here. So another app that I use quite often is VR Chat, uh, and this is something that uh, many of you probably are familiar with. And uh, I use the same process, and I just want to show you real quick. Uh, so the service, uh, I'm going to stop the service. 
using Belago's little tool. And uh, I'm going to open up, and I, I've done the same thing here. I've actually made a uh, VR chat DK2 batch file with a little dash adapter. And uh, it seems to be working okay there as well. So I'm just going to run this and show you what it looks like. I get the very familiar screen capture. And actually, you know what? Um, let me put it up to 1920 by 1080. All right. All right. So it looks like I've got this uh, set up and it seems to be working as well. And I've got uh, some level of positional tracking. And uh, oh, I forgot I've been working on a new uh, avatar here. So I'll. Uh, walk up to the mirror here <laughs> playing around with some particle effects and whatnot so yes i'm a hammer drone uh yeah so it's just something that uh you know if you haven't played around with this or not i really recommend you do it and the positional tracking works uh really well there you go i can see my gun neat okay all right so that's vr chat vr chat's working just fine so again, just to recap, uh, if you have games that have been compiled in Unity and they have the direct to Rift uh, option, the executable, you're going to want to just have the services be on and you want to have uh, everything set up the way Oculus wants. Uh, obviously, extend uh, to display is what I use. Uh, you can try to use the direct to HMD if you'd like. It works. You know, I'm not going to discourage people from at least playing around with it, but for a lack of anything else, I want you to know that the games that are not working correctly for you, that batch file with Balago's little service manager, uh, you stop the services, you make the batch file with the adapter one, and it works, or at least it does for me. So hopefully this video is useful to you, uh, and I also want to encourage you to stay tuned because I am going to do a complete playthrough uh, hopefully, of Techno Lust, and uh, I'm also going to have the Rift kids come back. Uh, now that Ocean Rift has been updated, they want to play that. So, uh, thank you all very much for watching.